Slaymates and welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new here, I'm Kimmy. Today I'm taking a break from r slash am I the a-hole and I found a very interesting story on r slash best of redditor updates. Just off the title alone, these bad boys need to be locked and loaded. Grab your libation of choice and let's go ahead and address the mess. Okay, today's story is called my boyfriend faked a proposal, so I broke up with him. As well you should, but let's go ahead and, and get into the details. Okay, the original post was August 4 of 2023. Me, 24F, have been dating my boyfriend, Andrew, 26M, for five years now. We've had a healthy and stable relationship up until today. Andrew has always been a prankster, and make jokes with me all the time, and I do it to him too, but today he took it way too far. In the morning, he woke me up at 7 a.m. and told me to wake up because he wanted to take me to the spa. I was pretty surprised because it wasn't a special day or anything, but I was all in for it. Who wouldn't be? At the spa, he told me how he wanted to go to a fancy restaurant after we were done at the spa and that he was paying. <laughs> of course I agreed, as we hadn't been out together in a long time. This sounds like a really awesome, amazing, spur of the moment, sweet gesture. We already have the title, we know it's coming, but oh, just the sense of foreboding. <laughs> we then got to the restaurant. We had a beautiful and romantic dinner and just a nice time in general. And we were talking about a house we were planning to move into and chit chatted about other stuff too. After around 40 minutes, Andrew stood up and got on his knees and took out a box out of his pocket my, and my heart stopped beating. I hadn't even predicted this. We have never talked about proposal before, but I also thought it was a great time now. He did a speech how I was the most beautiful girl in the world and how he wanted to live with me forever and ended with, will you marry me, princess? Of course I said yes. The spa day, the romantic dinner, just an absolutely uh, beautiful end, so she thought, to just an amazing romantic day. Seconds later, all of that excitement turned to horror he opened the small box I expected he put the ring in and in it was a note saying you've been pranked and Andrew started laughing hysterically yikes at a restaurant in public that is insane scanning ahead I there there had to been some sort of reaction from like the other patrons because especially at a fancy restaurant if, if someone you know gets down on one knee you know that there's a proposal about to happen. So this happened in front of like a f ton of people potentially. And then to have it be just a joke, I, I'm hoping somebody called his ass out on it. Wow. <laughs> he continued with, baby, this was just a prank. I'm not ready at all to marry you yet. He was leaning in to hug me. Oh, I'm assuming that she's had some sort of expression on her face you know, disgust, horror, rage, what have you. And he was not able to read the fucking room and then still go in, go in for the hug. Where am I hug at? No, 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 no. But I gave him the biggest slap ever with tears streaming down my face. While we don't condone violence on this channel, I can see where the urge came from and how difficult it would be to resist. With tears streaming down my face, I just told him, we're over, you fucking scumbag. And there's really no other way to describe what the f fuck this guy did. I mean, he's a fucking scumbag. I mean, you know, I think a whole lot of other words could be, you know, thrown in on that. Um, I mean, if you've got them, drop them down in the comments below. <laughs> I am now sitting in my bed crying and writing this and I don't know what to do. He's been texting and calling me, but I haven't responded because I feel so sad, betrayed, and mostly angry. I thought this was going to be one of the best days of my life. What should I do? Since this is uh, a Best of Runner updates, um, the original story is actually deleted. So in terms of going to the comment section and, and getting stuff like that, it's, it's actually kind of a little convoluted to parse all that out and, you know, but um, as far as what I say you should do, hello, yes, man disposal service, do you do same day? Yes, yes, the, the, the whole man, throw the whole man out. Because, you know, granted, uh, you know, had those little, little pranky pranks, you know, up until this point, which, you know, I guess is fine, but to have such a large escalation <laughs> and for something as important as, you know, proposing marriage, 
you're just getting a, a snapshot of what she's gonna be in for if she actually ties the knot with this guy. So absolutely not. Just fucking pull the pin, pop smoke on that entire fucking relationship. That's just beyond the pale. So the first update is from the next day, August 5th, 2023. Thank you guys so much for all of the love and the replies in my last post. I honestly didn't expect it to get as much attention as it did, but I'm very, very grateful for that and this helped me a lot. I asked the mods of this subreddit if I could do an early update and they allowed me to, so here is the update. After I made that Reddit post, I fell asleep crying, then woke up and decided to call my now ex-boyfriend. I told him that it was over and that I didn't want to be together with someone who after five years still isn't ready for marriage and then had it made a big joke about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what he was expecting, to be honest. It was, was he expecting her to laugh long? I mean, absolutely not. He cried and then turned angry and then demanded me to stay. So, I mean, I think that's kind of one of those little, he's just trying to throw things at the wall and seeing what sticks. First he starts crying. That didn't get him what he wanted. Then he got angry and hopes that'll work. He turned angry and demanded me to stay and told me I was a fucking asshole for leaving him like this after everything he has done for me. Well, and I think it's it's kind of similar to like how uh, businesses are. Like it takes years to gain a customer and seconds to lose one. And this is exactly the same thing. Like I don't give a candy coated fuck what this guy has done for her up until this point. You fucked up. You done fucked up. Now you're finding out. But I mean, like the main thing that he's done for her is it creates some, you know, some trauma and possibly some uh, employment for a therapist. So uh, yeah, that's what the fuck, he, that's what the fuck he's done for her. Good job, good job, bro. He cussed me out so much that I stopped listening at one point, so I don't remember everything that he said. Probably for the best. In the end, we came to a sorta agreement that we are going to sell the house and that he will be sleeping in the guest room for now. So today, I've just been scrolling the internet for apartments so I can have a fresh start. He is still not happy about the breakup, though. To bad. Should have thought about that before humiliating your significant other in fucking public. He is trying so bad to get back with me saying stuff the whole day like, can't we be together again? And this was just a small mistake I made. Gross. Like, I, I don't know. Does, does, does this guy have friends or something that he should have like run any of his little cunning plan through that might have like pulled him back? Or are they just as shitty as he is? Probably the latter. They're probably like, oh dude, that's gonna, that's gonna fucking slay. She's gonna fucking love that. Yikes. But the one that did it for me was, don't be so fucking petty and drop it. You know we're happy together and you know you still want me. Ew. Uh, okay. I mean, things change based on circumstances. And the circumstances are, you are a flaming piece of shit. So no, no, she doesn't want you. Fucking audacity. When he said that, I absolutely lost it and called him every single name that I could come up with and then slammed my door. I think he also told his family about the whole situation because today I got a call from his mom telling me how selfish I was and how I couldn't handle a simple joke. And it ended with her calling me a slut and hanging up the call. After that, I've gotten several messages from his other family members, such as his siblings, his dad, and even his aunt. Oh boy, he's engaging the flying monkeys now. Now she's got to deal with that. Just block, 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 blockity block. They're all fucking terrible people. I mean, either they're terrible people or he didn't really tell them the whole story of what the prank was and the extent of it. Like he probably was like, oh, you know, I just gave her one of those little, those little nut things where the snakes pop out and then she just dumped me over that. I mean, it, it's either A, his family sucks ass and they're birds of a feather or B, he didn't tell them the whole story. Um, but still, if you've got them resorting to, you know, circling, and attacking you, you don't need them in your life either. Do you really think that this is gonna win her back? If you would have just, you know, carried through and actually been serious about the proposal, like that day that was planned, it sounded fucking amazing. But no, you had to just go ahead and just a prank bro. And then call in your flying monkeys when it didn't go as, as planned. I've tried to just block them all, but every now and then comes a new message. I feel like more will happen, but the next update will, pro will probably not be in less than a week or so as I am going to try to sell stuff I don't need, find a new apartment, and fix everything with the house and stuff before we put it up for sale. I just want to get out of here as quickly as possible. Absolutely. I feel like, once again, just like his pranking behavior escalated, 
the behavior with his verbal abuse, with him, you know, calling in his flying monkeys, that is going to fuck escalate too. And you know, definitely, if you can, you know, get to, if she could get to somewhere, just make sure that nobody knows where she's at, and or nobody, you know, that, and then nobody that would relay that information back to him and his family, you know, know where she is. Then, then that's that's more the better, because it sounds like that this is a real messy bunch and at least he showed his true colors before you know actually proposing so i mean this is kind of a blessing in disguise you just you know neo matrix dodged like a huge freaking bullet so at least at least op has that going for her okay this next update is from the 15th of august 2023 hello everyone it's been a while since my last post and once again i want to thank you all so much for the support and love as for now this will probably be my last update after my last post, we had constant fights for days during the evenings, and one day I decided that I'd had enough. My closest friend let me move in with her for now until I find somewhere else to live, and I still don't know what exactly we are doing with our house, but I've gotten lawyers involved, and it's going to take quite a while. As does everything involving lawyers, and I have personal experience with that, that is ongoing. The biggest incident since last post is probably that I met my ex's mom in a mall and she full out screamed at me in public. Classy. I have never felt so humiliated. The embarrassment should not be on you, OP. The, the embarrassment is all hers. She is the one that is being embarrassing. Hopefully everyone else in the mall could pick up on that, but not like it matters because you don't know any of those fucking people anyway. Everyone probably thought I had done something horrible as she yelled things like, how could you do this to my son? You're a terrible human being. I just walked away, but I still felt so embarrassed. Also, ever since I moved, constant messages have appeared from my ex, from his friends and from his family members, and they are nasty messages, such as, no one would give a flying fuck if you unalive, you are a waste of space, or you are such a self-centered slut leaving your boyfriend over a small joke. Why do they keep throwing the, the, the fucking slut slur around? Uh, that's like the, the only insult that they know and they should probably get a little more creative. I don't know. I try to ignore them, but sometimes I do break down over them. This situation has also helped me learn who my real friends are as some of my friends turn their back against me. And, you know, it's it's got to be one of these things where you kind of have to look at the, the silver lining. Like, you dodged a huge bullet, not only, you know, from seeing your your ex-fiance's true colors, but also seeing, like, what their, the family is like. And, you know, those those friends weren't friends at all. If they, if, if they were in your shoes, how the fuck do you think that they would act if, you know, they got the whole rigmarole and down on one knee and then haha just kidding i mean it does kind of bring me back to thinking that's like okay either he didn't tell them the whole story or they're all just garbage human beings who need to be exiled none of this is about you op this is all about them and please please keep that in mind this whole thing still feels so surreal to me and it's going to take a long time for me to process it However, if there's anything else that I need to update you on, I will. Thank you again so much for the support. It has honestly been helping me a lot. That is the story from the OP. Uh, I'm going to go take a couple of, uh, look at a couple of comments. Alrighty, so first comment. You know you still want me. I wonder if this is just a sudden mask drop from this guy or more of a boiling frog situation because my god, what a dingleberry. Maybe, but like he's always been been pranking, but I mean, of course, I don't know the nature of the, the pranks up until this point, but uh, I'm guessing that she wasn't bothered by them and it, like it just went from zero to, to 100 to, <laughs> I don't want to marry you right now. I'm thinking it's probably more of a sudden mask drop and it, it's... Kind of interesting that he would drop the mask before actually having her you know, locked into a marriage because that uh, at least you know from what i've seen that tends to be when it actually happens in earnest op needs to prank the ex by saying she wants to get back together set up a romantic restaurant but the plot twist is that all the staff and other diners are redditors ready to point and laugh when she burns this a-hole's pride to a crisp that would be an amazing freaking setup just to like every redditor who's who's read this story just be sitting in, in the restaurant and she kind of you know flips the scripts like oh let's get back together baby haha <laughs> just kidding and then just have like everybody in the restaurant just point and laugh that would be amazing 
I really want her to tell the ex's mom that she's pregnant and hand her an envelope, presumably with the ultrasound image, but inside is a piece of paper that says, you've been pranked and it was all your son's idea. Okay, that one's a little, a little touchier. Eh, I mean, I'm kind of on the fence with this one because I mean, if they're all such, such jokers, but I, I understand that, you know, things around pregnancy and fertility are like extremely touchy subjects. So I'm kind of like, eh as far as whether I find that one appropriate. Just kind of jerking the relationship around like he did with her is more tit for tat, which I think is a little more justified. Invite the mom and dad and sit all three of them down, tell them that maybe we should get back together because I'm pregnant and don't want the kid to grow up in a broken home. Then drop the you've been pranked envelope, double up on the pain of that way. First reply, mail the envelope with the you've been pranked note because it'll take a few days to arrive and in the meanwhile they will tell everyone and maybe announce it on social media and then feel the humiliation that op went through when it turns out to be a joke never ever do this it's horrible petty thing and someone might snap but add it to your next unpublished novel your readers will love it yeah i i would have to uh, agree with that like you know this this that is you know purely on the like the revenge fancy don't don't do that shelf because especially if it's done like publicly that would actually make op look like a lot worse where it make well i mean bad op you know, didn't look bad to begin with but that would make things a lot worse so on op it make op look really bad so i mean it's funny to to talk about and and joke about uh like in you know in the terms of like oh how to get back at him uh, and like hypotheticals and things like that but actually really doing that yeah i'm gonna have to say no on that i've learned from past shitty relationships that when the partner says something along the lines of good luck finding someone who will treat you better than me or after everything i've done for you there is an 85 percent chance that that person is a garbage partner they say this shit in the hopes that you're so dumb brainwashed that you think you can't do better spoiler alert you can leave absolutely you're never gonna find somebody like me it's like that's the whole fuck point <laughs> i mean that, that's that is the entire point why would she want someone like you you're a piece of shit full stop playmates that is all i have for you today uh that was that was a messy one so if you liked what you see here just gently stroke the like and subscribe button and stimulate the algorithm if you have anything to say just go ahead and drop it in the comments below if there's anything else you would like to see me cover also drop that in the comments below and until it's time to come slay with me go slay with yourselves bye